Chapter 236 Proceeding to Battle As the sun set in the west and the sky was tinted with millions of colored haze, Kang Chong's trio leisurely advanced towards a small, ancient city. This was the last stronghold of the City of Earth battlefield, and from this stronghold, after passing through a sea of fog, was the City of Heaven. Along the way, their strength had progressed a lot, both Little Gold and Brahma Heart had completely stabilized the quasi-invincible realm, and at this point, they were confident in defeating any quasi-invincible powerhouse. As for Kang Chan, he had already stepped into the invincible realm with one foot long ago, and could step into the invincible level at any time. Rumor has it that there are very few cultivators in the last stronghold, but every one of them is an expert. I wonder if it's true. Van Xin looked at the ancient and simple small city in front of him, revealing a hint of anticipation. There wasn't a single guard at the gates of this small city, and from afar, it appeared very silent, like a huge beast that chose to devour people, and was looking deeply at the Kang Chon trio. Brother, I feel many powerful auras, all of them are emperor-level powerhouses, little gold was filled with surprise. Kang Chon nodded slightly. He had already sensed it long ago. There weren't many people within this small city. But the lowest strength was at the imperial level, and among them, there were all seven auras of quasi-invincible powerhouses. It had to be said that this stronghold was far more powerful than the others, bringing together almost all the elites of the Earth City battlefield. The three of them walked into the city and saw a small, empty city with very few pedestrians above the streets, only a few dozen of them, but every single one of them was an emperor-level powerhouse. Seeing Kang Chon's trio's entrance, those pedestrians were slightly stunned. Then one by one, they stood in the distance, pointing and discussing at Kang Chon's trio. Look guys, isn't it those people wanted by the heavenly dragons who have actually come here? What? Do you want to denounce them? Ridiculous, since they dared to offend the heavenly dragon. They aren't the ones to be messed with. I have nothing to do after eating my fill. Intermittent murmurs came, causing the three Kang Chon people to frown. Brother, they seem to know us, Little Gold said with a strange face. In his impression, he hadn't seen these people before. Brahma's heart was also filled with doubt. The phenomenon before him was too strange. What was wrong with these people? Celestial dragon, could it be? Kang Chon's mouth murmured softly, a glint of light flashed in his eyes, from the intermittent words he heard. He seemed to have guessed something. This stronghold originally had a small number of people, with the clamor caused by Kang Chon's three people. It instantly startled the other cultivators in the city, and instantly, a single powerful figure walked out of the houses, coming from all directions, with some quasi-invincible powerhouses amongst them. Just like those people earlier, these people saw Kang Chon's trio and burst into a discussion, pointing at them. Kang Chon's trio was filled with doubt in their hearts, frowning as, as they looked at the crowd of onlookers. Little Gold was the most short-tempered, as he yelled at the surrounding crowd. What exactly do you all mean? Surround Master Monkey again. Beware of Master Monkey beating you all up. However, the crowd of onlookers didn't pay any attention to Little Gold and were still pointing there, infuriating little gold to the skies. Roar to roar rang out. Facing this group of imperial level powerhouses, little gold knew that just talking still wouldn't work, so he immediately released his quasi, invincible aura, immediately shocking a large group of people. Heavens, it's a quasi invincible powerhouse. No wonder he's so arrogant. The crowd of onlookers were instantly shocked including those few quasi-invincible powerhouses. It had to be said that after this aura of shock, the chatter in the crowd was much smaller. At least no one dared to point at the Kang Chion trio anymore. HMPH, Xiao Jing coldly swept a glance at the crowd, then his gaze turned to an early imperial level cultivator and pointed at him, saying, You, yes, that's you, brat, come here for me. Under the pressure of Xiao Jin's powerful quasi-invincible aura, the early imperial level cultivator walked out with a terrified face and said warily, Senior, 
It's none of my business. We don't know anything. Shut up. I haven't even asked you about things, and you're saying you don't know. Looking for death. Xiao Jin was furious at his words. The Brahma heart on the side couldn't look past it. He walks over and said with a kind face. Young man, don't be afraid. You just need to say why you know us. Young man. Xiao Jin's face was instantly blackened when he heard this. He glanced at Fan Xin and thought, luckily you can call it out. Without waiting for this imperial level cultivator to speak, at this time, a yellow, clothed young man came out from amongst the crowd. He walked over with a smile on his face and laughed. Fellow Taoists, you don't know. A few days ago, an invincible level powerhouse called Chomlong came here and posted the portraits of the three of you, saying that you were wanted. That's why they were very surprised to see the arrival of the three of you. The three of them narrowed their eyes as they watched this person arrive. This was a quasi-invincible powerhouse. Otherwise it would be impossible for them to be laughing and smiling under Xiao Jin's aura with a calm face. Only, the news this person spoke shocked them. What kind of cultivation were the Kangchon Trio? They could tell at a glance that this person was a quasi-invincible powerhouse, and they believed that this person could also tell their cultivation, and would definitely not dare to fool them with false news. Therefore, this news must be true. Invincible. There's an invincible powerhouse in the City of Earth battlefield. What kind of character is that heavenly dragon? Little Gold obviously didn't react at once, and was filled with doubt. Brahma Heart on the other hand, was pondering, his face incomparably grave. Indeed, Kang Chon, on the other hand, had a dawning look on his face, a hint of weariness flashed in his eyes, an invincible powerhouse. This was exactly the opponent he was waiting for, just so he could gauge how strong his true strength was at the moment. The yellow-clothed youth looked at Kang Chon's trio with an odd expression. His heart was very strange. These three people didn't even know who Chong Long was. He hesitated for a moment and said, Fellow three Taoists, you guys killed the Heavenly Dragon Emperor and the Earthly Dragon Emperor of the Heavenly Dragon Gang. Don't you know that the Heavenly Dragon Gang also has a gang leader called Chong Long? Heavenly Dragon Gang. Hearing the yellow clothed you say so, Xiao Jin instantly remembered. He said with a dazed expression, Heavenly Dragon Gang Leader. So it's that guy. I heard that he was impacting the invincible realm. So he has already succeeded in advancing to the invincible realm. This reaction was really slow. The Brahma heart on the side couldn't help but be speechless. Don't you guys know, right now, all the strongholds in the Earth City battlefield have your portraits. As long as you appear, you will be learnt by the Heavenly Dragon. I advise you guys to leave earlier. The yellow clothed youth said, Kang Chon was slightly surprised. He didn't think that that master of the Heavenly Dragon Gang had really advanced to the Invincible Realm and was still wanted all the way to them. Isn't it just invincible? What's there to be afraid of? Humph! Xiao Jin snorted coldly. Now that he had reached the quasi-invincible realm, he was looking forward to fighting a strong person at the invincible level. Dare I ask your name? Why are you helping us? Aren't you afraid of that heavenly dragon's blame? Brahma Heart, however, had his eyes fixed on the yellow-clothed youth. Kang Chon nodded slightly at his words. This was exactly what he wanted to ask. He always felt that this yellow-clothed youth in front of him was not simple. He doesn't dare to do anything to me. The yellow-clothed youth had a haughty look on his face as he continued. I've long since looked down on the heavenly dragon gang, so I'm going to help you guys out in passing. By the way, you guys can call me Demon Peak. The yellow-clothed youth looked somewhat mysterious. A smile flashed in his eyes. Devil Peak. Kang Chon and Brahma Xing glanced at each other and both shook their heads. They hadn't heard of this name. However, since this yellow-clothed youth didn't care at all about the peerless level Heavenly Dragon, he must have a strong undercurrent, which made them a little surprised. Invincible level powerhouses can fly. I'm afraid that it won't take more than a few days for the heavenly dragon to arrive. So I advise you guys to enter the city of heaven earlier. 
Seeing that the Kang Chong trio didn't speak, Devil Pete continued to persuade. HMPH, we'll wait here for him to come over. Invincible level. Master Monkey, I happen to be able to learn about a peerless level powerhouse. I hope I won't be disappointed. Little Gold said, with a careless face. The words Monkey Master were getting more and more smoothly used by him. Amitabha Buddha. Keep a low profile. Pay attention to the low profile. He's after all an invincible powerhouse. How can we say that we have to give him some face? Let's find a place to stay first. We can't keep being surrounded by people here. Brahma heart folded his hands and said with a benevolent look. Devil Peak was a little speechless for a moment. What kind of people are these? To think that they don't put invincible level powerhouses in their eyes at all. When did invincible powerhouses not even have the slightest bit of majesty anymore? Still this person is better. Devil Pete couldn't help but look towards Kang Chon, who hadn't said anything up until now. Giving him a very stable feeling, he couldn't help but nod slightly. However, Kang Chon's sentence completely made Devil Peak flip his previous comment. Let's go. Let's find a place to stay first. And after we settle Chong Long, we'll head to the City of Heaven. Kang Chan said indifferently, as if he was talking about a normal thing. Devil Peak was completely speechless. Dare I say that this Lord was the most arrogant all. What kind of people am I meeting? Devil Feng was depressed in his heart. It was not easy for him to send kindness for once, but he had met such a group of arrogant people. He shook his head and stopped paying attention to the Kang Chon trio. Kang Chon's trio also ignored Devil Peak. They found a place, constructed a simple stone house, and stayed there. The crowd of onlookers also dispersed individually when they saw Kang Chon's trio leave. However, they just changed places and continued to discuss away. Everyone present had heard the arrogant words of Kang Chan's trio, and they were very curious as to what kind of backbone these three people had to dare to face an invincible powerhouse like this. In short, this small town was completely shaken because of the arrival of Kang Chan's three. Brother, when the time comes, let me be the first one to make a move. You'll go on if I can't. In the middle of the stone house, Little Gold said with a warlike expression, yeah, Brother Dao. It's better to leave this Chonglong to us first. It's not too late for you to go on if we can't. Brahma a heart echoed Little Gold once in a rare while. Kang Chon was helpless when he heard this. What else could he do? He could only let it go to these two battle maniacs. He hoped that by then, Chonglong would be able to beat up Xiao Jin and Brahma Shin, which would also give him a chance to make a move. Brahma heart and Little Gold didn't know what was going on in Kang Chon's mind at the moment. They were all excited and thrilled, their eyes filled with astounding battle intent. Fighting against an invincible level powerhouse would be their greatest test and an accurate test of their current strength. Kuhu, hurricane winds whistled at the headquarters of the Heavenly Dragon Gang. A golden-robed Heavenly Dragon sat on top of a dragon chair, his hair thick and his eyes radiant as he coldly swept at one of the heavenly dragon gang's emperor level powerhouses in front of him reporting to the gang master we have received news that the three murderers have appeared at the last stronghold this emperor level powerhouse said with a face full of respect murderer hearing that the murderers had appeared chon long stood up violently his eyes staring tightly at the imperial level powerhouse in front of him until this person's forehead was dripping with sweat before he withdrew his sight. The last stronghold. Oh, you guys are really able to run, humph. Chon Long coldly smiled. Then his figure asterisk 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 came out and flew towards the direction where the last stronghold was located. Numerous cultivators watched Chon Long leave. They knew that a peak battle was about to begin. But it was a pity that they couldn't see it. Those who killed the Heavenly Dragon Gang, not a single one of you can escape. Even if you escape to the City of Heaven, you will only die. Sky Dragon stepped on the void. His figure was like an arrow and disappeared into the sky with a swoosh. In the last stronghold, 
Kang Chong's trio had been staying in the temporarily constructed stone house, waiting for Chon Long to arrive. 